In today's video, you'll meet a sea creature whose painless bite hides a deadly secret, and a fish that could literally cut you up. First though, let's meet this creature with a nasty reputation, and an even worse bite. The Moray Eel Found most often in oceanic or brackish waters, moray eels typically avoid contact with humans whenever possible. When faced with threats though, these creatures ensure their aggressor gets what's coming to them, and a whole lot more of that. Moray eel bites can produce easily infected wounds on account of the eels having a large amount of bacteria in their mouths. They also have the uncanny ability to chase down and kill other fish with minimal effort. Some say a skill that they are better at than sharks. In fact, small sharks have even fallen victim to their attacks. Fact is, moray eels are just plain scary. Portuguese Man of War Even though the Portuguese Man of War is only about 12 inches long, it's actually longer than it appears to be. Its tentacles can trail up to 165 feet long, and it's these tentacles that make them particularly dangerous. These long tentacles are covered in venom-filled nematosis that paralyze prey. Though a man of war isn't quite venomous enough to paralyze a human, its sting is powerful and packed quite the punch. Also, don't be fooled by harmless Portuguese man of wars washed up on shore, because even these dead ones can still sting. The Candiru. Now, this is a fish that comes straight out of your worst nightmare. These small, unassuming fish are voracious blood feeders, and that alone is scary enough, but the fact that these tiny fish have the knack for swimming up a person's urethra makes me wince painfully. Once inside, pulling one out is a dangerous and obviously very painful procedure, as its fins will dig into the urethra's walls. Once it penetrates, it can cause inflammation, hemorrhage, and in severe cases, death. Crown of Thorn Starfish Growing to an average of about 13 inches in diameter, the Crown of Thorn Starfish is definitely larger than its benign, literally washed up relatives you find on beaches all over the world. It can actually cause more pain than the object in its namesake. They litter the sea floor where it can be seen crawling from one coral patch to the other, with coral being their favorite food. And while not at all aggressive like all starfish are, never even think of touching one, much less stepping on one. This creature is covered in poisonous spines that cause intense, immediate pain, lasting for up to three hours. The Sea Slug In case you haven't learned from the many similar videos that we released in the past, you should stay as far away as possible from any brilliantly colored sea creatures. And that's especially if they're sea slugs. Researchers at the University of Queensland recently found that various colorful sea slugs have the ability to slurp up and store deadly chemicals from the creatures they eat for later use. One type of sea slug in particular, the Greyside Guild Sea Slug, has been linked to canine deaths, and beach dwellers are encouraged to keep their children and pets at an arm's length to avoid accidental ingestion. The Striped Surgeon Fish Striped surgeon fish are some of the most gorgeous fish that are swimming in today's oceans. But beautiful though they may be, you'll need a surgeon should you cross the paths of one of these striped fish. That's because this fish could literally cut you up, and I'm not referring to its teeth. They come armed with caudal spines that are as sharp as a surgeon's scalpel, hence their name. These spines can cut into flesh as easily as the aforementioned surgeon's tool. Not only that, these spines also contain venom. Overall, an encounter with a particularly aggressive surgeon fish will never be a good day for you. The Blue Ringed Octopus When looking at one, the Blue Ringed Octopus seems completely harmless. It's vibrantly colored, smaller than a candy bar, and doesn't look like it could hurt a fly. But in reality, this tiny cephalopod is as dangerous as they come. According to the people of the Ocean Conservancy, this small sea creature has venom a thousand times more powerful than cyanide. And at any given time, it's carrying enough to kill 26 humans in just minutes. The venom will paralyze you until you stop breathing, so if you see one of these, stay far, far away. The Flamboyant Cuttlefish The Flamboyant Cuttlefish is a beautiful thing. It's relative to the octopus and the squid come in striking colors, colors that not only advertise beauty, but its deadliness as well. Like the Blue Ringed Octopus, the Flamboyant Cuttlefish has poisonous flesh that can kill any predator that dares to feast on it. In fact, it's the only toxic cuttlefish known to exist on the planet. Also like the Blue Ringed Octopus, the cuttlefish's vibrant colors serve to warn predators to stay away. The Electric Eel The Electric Eel may not be an actual eel, weird I know, right? But it's certainly one of the most dangerous fish on today's list. It gives its name from the way it attacks and kills its predators and its prey. Its body contains organs filled with nearly 6,000 electrolytes that store electricity. 
Think of these organs as nature's answer to batteries, and the eel puts all this stored energy to good use. When something like, say, a potential meal or a threat gets close, the not actually an eel will discharge volts of electricity and shock the intruder, more likely to death, actually. The Sing Ray Though you can pet the sea rays in most aquariums, most of the time they've had their stings removed. It's these deadly stings that have caused the death of renowned naturalist Steve Irwin, which in my opinion was one of the nicest people on the planet. The ones in the wild, though, still have these weaponized barbs on them. Barbs that contain lethal venom that, when introduced inside the human body, will often spell certain death. The Titan Triggerfish The chances of a shark attacking you while diving are small, but when it comes to the Titan Triggerfish, the chances are substantially higher. Found in coral reefs everywhere from Australia to Thailand, the creatures will bite through divers' fins and flesh. And that's not only when they feel threatened. Oftentimes, these random attacks will happen unprovoked. Titan triggerfish are beautiful and bold, but any experienced diver will know to keep their distance. The Flower Urchin Don't let the flower urchin's good looks fool you. Looking more like a bouquet rather than a sea creature, each of its flowers is actually a tentacle with a little jaw called a pedicellaria. These jaws can inject toxic venoms that potentially kill you. The venom is actually so toxic and lethal that this ferocious flower was named the most dangerous sea urchin in the 2014 Guinness Book of World Records. Textile Cone Snail Shell collectors simply love the complex patterns on the carapace of the textile cone snail, but even the most avid of collectors will not dare to grab hold of the live one, and there's a very good reason for that. You see, although these snails are tiny, they're particularly vicious, and it's not all just for show. They can inject deadly venom through their radular teeth. This nasty cocktail of venom not only induces complete paralysis of its victims, it can also cause death. The Dubois Sea Snake Snakes on land are scary enough. Some of them are even deadly. But snakes in the ocean are on a totally different level, both in fear factor and in deadliness. Take the Dubois Sea Snake, for instance. Fairly large at a length of 5 feet and prey mostly on various reef fish, and even the Moray eel. What makes these fast moving swimmers is their venom. In fact, many consider them to be the most venomous sea snakes in the world. Another dangerous thing about this snake is that their bites are quite painless and often go unnoticed until it's far too late. Without timely treatment, the bite from a Dubois sea snake is almost often fatal. The Beaked Sea Snake Gram for gram, the venom of the Dubois sea snake is more potent than its cousin, the beak sea snake. However, beak sea snakes are far more dangerous, and that's because of one thing, aggressiveness. According to the Thai National Parks, beak sea snakes are responsible for more than 50% of all sea snake bites. Each bite contains anywhere from 7.9 to 9 milligrams of venom, and just so you know, a human can die from just 1.5. The Pufferfish Pufferfish, or blowfish, possess venom that's 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, making these little guys one of the most toxic animals in the world. With that level of toxicity, one might think of not consuming these fish for food, but tell that to the Japanese. Because despite their deadliness, the inflated fish is considered a delicacy in Japan, where trained chefs prepare it for an exorbitant fee. Of course, one wrong cut can mean death for the person ingesting the sea creature, but what's life without a little risk? The Box Jellyfish the box jellyfish has venom that's so potent that it can kill fellow sea creatures before they even know what's happening. As for humans, a sting from a box jellyfish can cause everything from debilitating pain, and if you're really unlucky, to heart failure. And the most unnerving part of a box jellyfish attack is that victims have been known to die before ever reaching land. And no, despite what you saw on TV and in movies, peeing on someone when they get stung by a box jellyfish will not help. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This photo is in fact just a harmless old sea sponge that just resembles a monster. But did you know that there's a similar sort of creature that's infinitely more dangerous than a sea sponge? Fire Coral This coral-looking thing is called a fire coral, and it's definitely one of the things that you should definitely not touch while out diving. There's two things that you would know about fire corals. Firstly, they aren't actually coral. They're members of the Hydrozoa class, which is closely related to jellyfish that attach to coral. And secondly, that these creatures can inflict a serious sting that causes a raised rash that gives you the sensation as if you were being burned alive. Trust me, no amount of water is going to soothe this scorching pain. Especially not pee. The Lionfish 
Experts speculate that the lionfish gets its name from its long, luscious dorsal spines that loosely resembles a male lion's mane, which is a naming convention that actually makes sense for once. And like its namesake, the lionfish is a powerful predator. So instead of relying on fangs and ferocity, it depends on the venomous stings of its spines, which can cause pain, respiratory failure, and in extreme cases, paralysis. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Stonefish Often described as the deadliest fish in the ocean, the stonefish is one fish that you wouldn't want to accidentally step on. The stonefish protects itself with 13 venomous dorsal spines capable of killing tissue and putting the human body into shock. It has been likened to hitting your own toes with a hammer, but far deadlier because it's laced with poison. So when you're out diving in stonefish country, make sure you watch where you step. See you all next time!